Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, guys. Welcome back. Uh, Joe and Kevin here. Hello. Uh, it's Friday. We're feeling good. We got an episode of Ted Lasso under our belts. Love and it. We are glad to be back with another episode of Fleabag for you. Yeah. Uh, what a great pilot that was, yeah. man. Uh, totally unexpected. At, at, from, the, from the beginning of the show. Very unexpected. Yeah, we went in completely blind and yeah. going in blind to this one, and we didn't know what the show was about at all. And yeah. man, would I have not guessed right. No, great pairing with a crazy ex girlfriend. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. A woman who is definitely uh, searching for something, definitely need to help. Okay, trick question. Can you remember the actress's name? Because I forget, I look it up and forget it every Phoebe time. Waller Bridge. Phoebe Waller Bridge. That's yes. it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, man, was she good in this. It, it, and I don't know her because I don't. I, I can't think of anything else I've seen her in, but she crushed this. She, like I said, she was in Rogue One. She played uh, the robot. Right, right. Donald Glover's character. Mm -hmm. She's going to be in the new Indiana Jones movie. And I think she's got some screenwriting credits. Sure, sure. Uh, and uh, some of our commenters said that this is basically an evolution of a, of stage work that she did. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really cool, actually. That's, yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Man. Which was the same thing with Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, right? Yeah. Ra uh, Rachel Bloom yep. was the same, same kind of deal. Oh, uh, this is a really nice pairing, then. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's funny that we, we can't remember her name, because did they say her name in the first episode? The character? Yeah. No. Oh, um, okay. We didn't get... Met, did we get anybody's names, really? Except her, for the, her boyfriends, I think, maybe? Uh -huh. Like, the one she broke up with? I think we got his name. Yeah. But I don't know that we got her sister's name. We might have missed it. I'll just be forgetting, but I'm pretty sure... They didn't make a big deal out of it, that's right. sure. I'm pretty sure the, the protagonist, we did not get a character name on. I like that. Is it is that why it's called Fleabag, probably? That that's just how we identify her? She's a Fleabag. <laughs> yeah, right. Because <laughs> kind of she, she's not great. But, I mean, I find her very sympathetic. You, you oh, yeah, big time. You don't feel that way for the first part of it. But, man, when she showed up in crisis at her dad's house and her dad blew her off. Yeah. Big time. Um, the, what, my big takeaway was her dad is garbage. Um, yeah, her dad sucks. Yeah. His uh, new wife is also kind of uh, shaky. I don't know. She, she was making an effort to try to talk to her. Yeah, she was much better. Right, yeah. She, she took a few shots, but she but was much better. Me. She did, yeah. I mean, she at least said, I hope you're doing okay. I hope you take care of yourself. She showed some form of care for her. Right, which is a whole lot more than her dad showed. Her dad sucks. And she was really there asking for help. Yeah. Like, I don't know what yeah. to do. She right. showed up at, like, what was, well, I don't think they said what time it was, but it was He did. He said it was late. one or two in the morning. He said it. He's like, it's two o'clock or one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, but she kind of bared her soul and said, I'm a terrible person. And, you know, there's, there's, you know, some self-loathing on there. And he was like, well, blame your mom. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, that on. is not the answer we're no. looking for here. It's not about you. It's not about you, man. Um, I'm sorry. But uh, it was also hilarious. It was funny. I mean, the the opening love scene, which, let's face it, Oof. calling it a love scene should be an ironic air quotes <laughs> because that was not Oof. a love scene. No. That that was that was uh, jarring and eye opening. Very, right there. Bad, wow. very passionate self loathing kind of happened. Right. It's like, oh, we're going to be this kind of show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, uh, really, really great pilot. Um, really complex, wonderful character. Um, you don't see a whole lot of those, especially as far as. Uh, Female protagonists? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so it's really nice to see um, that we're getting a completely different and new kind of character um, to look different. at. Different. Very different. Absolutely. And that's what's good about it. Yeah, yeah, de definitely. Um, before you go in, guys, we want to welcome some new Patreon subscribers. So James Miller, Mermaid Day, Leland Davis, and Clayton Barnes. Thank you so much and welcome. welcome. Yeah, we really do appreciate it. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, please, please, please click that link below to the Patreon. That's where you can watch the full-length reaction to this video, as long as you have your own copy. Along with everything else we're watching. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you are on YouTube, though, make sure you hit the like button. Please leave us a comment, and please, please, please subscribe. Uh, like we mentioned on Patreon, we are doing full-length reactions to not only this show, but Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, Mad Men, Schitt's Creek. Uh, we're watching Succession as a Patreon exclusive. West Wing. We, yeah. West Wing's on there. we got a whole library for you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and loving all of those shows. They're all fantastic. Uh, if you're wondering why in some of the shows we only have an episode or two, we probably didn't like them as much. So if we keep, <laughs> if we keep going on a show, it's not just because we're like, hey, let's fake like we like them. Someone asked me, actually, like, so when you guys are watching these shows, do you actually like them or do you just act like you like them? Oh, no. We don't watch shows we're not going to like. Like, yeah, absolutely. Here's the extent of the research I do before we pick a show, honestly. Yeah. Because a lot of it comes from suggestions from you guys. Yeah. But that's why watching this show, it's why we watch yeah. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend with suggestions from viewers. Um, I will look on Rotten Tomatoes and just look at the percentages, yeah, right? Sure. Does the audience like it and do critics like it? Yes. If the answer is yes and yes, it's a show worth checking out. Yeah. Um, if one or the other or both uh, completely hates it, it might be when we take a flyer on. It's a process of trial and error. Yeah, absolutely. So. Um yeah, we've definitely had some shows where you're like, eh, not for us. Yeah. Um, but uh, not this one. This one, we are definitely, it's only 12 episodes, and I am hooked on that after that first one. Oh, so yeah. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Hooked on. I heard this song forever. Sale! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Oh my, oh god. my god. So she's not on the manhunt, she's just people watching in yep. general. Yep. I think my period's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Nice haircut. It's better. <laughs> Why on earth would you want to speak to Martin? Hello, hello. Hey. Hey. Oh. Wife in my study. Oh, oh, must be my lucky day. You said she only likes to talk to people she fancies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you deal in sculptures as well as paintings and papier mache? Oh. Yeah, oh yeah. She needs money. This is stolen art. Where'd you get this? I oh, just uh, stole it from a market. <laughs> oh, it's quite a piece. I'll get her photograph now. Don't tell Claire, please. Yeah. But, or I'll tell her you were watching gangbangs. <sighs> please don't do that again. Patching's up with Harry? Uh, yeah, we're, um, we're engaged. <laughs> He's back at the flat packing up all his stuff again. Oh. There you go. Yeah. At least we had his name. You don't like other girls. You can keep up. Oh my God, oh, that is sex. sexist. He does usually go the extra mile. A few times, he's even cleaned the whole flat. I've considered timing a breakup for when the flat needs a bit of a going over. Uh, oh my god. God, she's a monster. She kind of is. Him. To come back for. I'm not obsessed with sex. I just can't stop thinking about it. Not so much the feeling of it. It's the pursuit. Yeah. Probably got about 48 hours before Harry comes back. Yeah, you check me out, Chub Chub, because it's never gonna happen. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. The <laughs> walk of shame. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. god. The camera work in this is phenomenal. It's too, really though. good. It's, it's, yeah. It's really striking. Oh. I have a hard time believing she couldn't get a bandage be, um, to dinner. Uh, 12 yeah. pounds 55. The next man who walks in here is getting ridden to death. Oh my god. Uh, oh no. Dad. Is this an attempt to check on her? Busy? A bit? He's bad at this. Oh, oh God! Yeah. No, what sculpture? Oh, right. Right. Do you do like hot organic -y foods? Of course. Oh my God! Did she have to leave them there to go get risotto? Probably snuck out the back. Oh, just these for my tiny bleeding vagina. <laughs> what? Hope it's a light flow. Oh, <laughs> it never is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Never. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh. As long as I can wear it or eat it, I'm happy. You can do both of those things. They're pointless. But Boo took Hillary very seriously as a gift. What are you afraid of? What? I guess losing the currency of youth. <laughs> do you ever feel lonely? Yeah. Never. Oh my god. Right, this guy sucks. He kind of does. She called Harry. Yeah. Thanks she, for coming. That guy's went a little too far and it freaked her out. Right. Were you busy? No, I was in the interval oh, cool. of cats. Okay. I yeah. remember them like that before they all. Oh, sorry. Um, oh my god. Are you okay? A uh, work friend. A girl. Don't feel too bad, Harry. Yeah, no kidding. She was, she was on a date earlier. If you want to call that a date. You're right. I found this. I didn't realize I'd left it. Yes, you did. Every time, yeah. yeah. Time. I'm not just going to come running back. I really just need some time away from... Oh, yeah. my God. That would not make me feel good. No. As a partner. No. But I don't think he has the self-esteem to do anything. Well, about. I think he's a little like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I've hidden our vibrators. Our? Oh, <laughs> right. Fun. Does he not know her at all? Does he have intimacy <laughs> issues? Don't. Oh, I'm joking. Try and surprise each other once every day. Just a you know, sweet little something just to keep it. Don't eat too much before dinner. <laughs> That's not. What <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, what does that even mean? It means he's taking her out to dinner. Like Listen, I don't want to know anything other? about this surprise party, but if you could just um, do you know what? Why don't I just do it? 
I can organise it, do the food, act surprise, a surprise party. and just take it off your hands. Mm -hmm. I don't need money. That'll be £25, please. £25 <laughs> pounds for a tomato sandwich. <laughs> Oh, surprise him as a burglar? Oh my god. This is- how is this gonna be good? Why? Oh man. <laughs> this is okay, funny. this is actually funny. This will scare the hell out of me though. She's gonna get punched in the face, isn't Something, she? Something, yeah. Or he's gonna fall in the shower. <laughs> oh man, he's crying. He's crying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! She just traumatized him! That was horrible! Okay. Thank you. Thank you! The guy who plays this is killing him. Oh my god, he's crying! I don't want to point fingers, but. Asian, teen, MILF, big butts. Oh, her poor history. Facial, fetish, bukkake. Oh, that's a lot. Why are you being so sexy? That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Loving you is painful enough. Oh my god, he's Dang. he's so fragile. Look, then just stay broken up, because you're different people. Yeah. Do you want to be alone? She doesn't know the answer to that, yeah. I don't hate you, I'm scared for you. He's gonna write that down. How is it that she knows everything about him so well he doesn't yeah. know a thing about her? Because he's also kind of shallow. Yeah. Just like the other guy was. That's true. Look, but also, like, I mean, look, we shouldn't hate Harry, but he just doesn't need to be with her. He shouldn't be with her. No. He'll be back. Back for the dinosaur? Yep. Yeah, maybe serious finally. Look, I like her, but she does kind of suck a yeah. little Yeah. No, she does. All right. But I like her. Let's unpack it. So yeah. there's a lot going on here, man. I like her too. She obviously has issues. Um, she's very sexually adventurous, if that's safe to say. Which is which isn't necessarily an unhealthy thing, I oh. don't think. But in her case, it seems to be. Look, it's gonna go awkward here for a second, guys. The stuff that she's doing, masturbation, watching whatever you want to do, that that can be healthy in certain settings. All right. Well, you, you know, and I think like, you know, she she brought it up earlier in the episode. That's why I said that she might have a problem because she's like, ah, I don't have a sex problem. Like, I just I just love it. Yeah, I think about it all the time. She might, maybe that's her way of coping with her depression. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, I would agree with you that that what she's doing just doesn't seem healthy for her. No, no, she's... not at all. And that can be a form of addiction as well. You yeah, know? of course. Right. You know, people that are addicts tend to have a hole in their life. They're trying to re re yeah, Phil was with, with I, I think that's clearly the case with her for sure. Yeah, absolutely, you know. And when you see her relationship with her family, and that kind of explains why right. she's lashing out on people. She thinks she can treat this guy, however, because he'll always come back. Right and now, she learned that that's not going to be the case right now because you can't just continuously burn people and have them come back to you. That's not okay. Yeah, the, I, I didn't like how she was so confident. Like it doesn't matter what happens right now because he's always going to come back. Yeah. But uh, at the same time. This was actually a hilarious episode. It was very funny. The, the shower thing was so good. Well, the shower thing was good. But it's just the idea that these two were so mismatched. And she probably, you know, kind of like Rebecca on Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, yeah. probably has some things she needs to work for to yeah. be healthier as a person that has nothing to do with being in a relationship with anybody. Yeah, you know, she said she's wasting herself. I mean, go out and have fun. You're, you're young, whatever, you're attractive, right? you own your own business. Like, you have every right to do whatever you of want course. to do, you know? Um, yeah, it, it's just the fact that she's not. Ha she's clearly yeah, not just, happy just, with it. She's not happy with don't it. Don't tie yourself down to somebody who's not right for you. Sure, you know, and that that's that's a good lesson for every, everybody. I mean, but I think the show is definitely hinting at something more. So. Yeah, no, there's there's definitely a lot more. I I, I think the idea is it doesn't matter if she's by herself. It doesn't matter if she's in a relationship. And it doesn't matter if she's having casual sex. None. Now, they're all band aids for a much bigger problem that she's got going absolutely, on. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And you know, we talk about it, it, most shows now that how every episode or not every episode, but every show we watch has some type of a therapy episode. Right. A matter of time, I feel like for the show. I don't. Oh really? I don't you think, think she's purposely I, gonna stay away from it. I don't think she's gonna go into therapy. I don't think I don't think there's anyone in her life that's gonna push her there, like like it usually happens. I, that's that that's a good great point. There's nobody in her life that really um uh, I mean they care about her, but they don't know how to connect with her. Right. Her dad, her sister. Even her well, even her boyfriend. They just yeah. want her to be a certain way, but not to actually help her 
at all become, to help her become like more uh, self owning of who sure. she is. They just want to like, I want you to be the perfect girlfriend. I want you to be a daughter who leaves me alone. I want you to be a, 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 a nice sister. You know, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. everyone's just like, what you are, I don't want, and I don't care what you be, what you become or who you really are. Yeah, they're kind of all wrapped up in their own personal BS. I, I don't know. And it's yeah, like they all have kind of their, their own issues. Like I don't know what her sister's deal is, but she's clearly not okay. Right. Her dad is so far away from her, so distant. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I just I, I just think overall, this is a girl who needs some self care and probably absolutely help, and, pro- and probably help getting there. And a hug and someone who cares for her, <laughs> right you know? uh, anyways guys that's a episode. that's a hard person to love though i mean that's clearly going to be a hard person to love she's got a very dark sense of humor <laughs> yeah it's hilarious and, and uh the fourth wall breaks um the way that she had the actress right handles yeah. that she crushes those yeah she's she's in and out of those scenes as seamlessly as you could ask for an actor it's kind of like uh john krasinski in the office times 10 it's like oh john yeah krasinski on steroids yeah yeah, like, yeah because great. it's so quick and yeah. she's so in the moment and out of the moment and in yeah. the moment and out of the moment um it would be tough to find someone who could pull this role off like that, and she is nailing it. I can't think of anybody, honestly. Like, right. I, I, I tend to do that kind of thing on TV shows. Like, right. who, who can I see? Who can I? Re- yeah, who can I recast in I this? I do that too. But like, else, you know? she is doing things you haven't seen another actor pull off in a show because I've never seen a show written like this. Yeah. Uh, it's when, a, when did this come out? Do you know? Well, it's into two seasons. I think it's still running, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's around 2019, 2020. Okay. Maybe 2021. I'm not sure, but sure. it's new because yeah. it's still in its run. Sure, 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 sure. Because um, you can see her popping up and stuff. That's what right, I'm right, assuming. right. Like, the show's obviously really, really well received, and she's getting work after this. So. Yeah, this is a a crushing. She crushes this performance. Absolutely. Um, I again because we don't really know the actress. I have no idea what type of accolades she's uh, acquired or been nominated for for this, but I hope. There's something. I think there's uh, been a few. I think I've been watching like, the Golden Globes a few times or like the Emmys and you see her name pop up on there. So Nailing it. Absolutely yeah. nailing it. All right, guys. Well, hey, as always, thanks for being here. We'll yeah. see you in the next one.